What's up everybody? Before you start watching this video, don't forget to look at our website. From resources to services, we have a lot of great content to check out. I noticed that some of you have already taken a sneak peek of our website. It's going to cover SAP, production, maintenance, work strategies, how to overcome obstacles within your company, and many more great resources. So check out our website and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube to find out some of the latest projects our team is working on. Thanks for joining us and enjoy our video. What's up everybody and thank you for uh, joining me today. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, look up the action log on a work order. Um, this will help to see any um, transactions done to the work order, who printed it out, who released the work order, when it was released, when it was printed, uh, when it was supposed to be scheduled, all that good information. Um, and you can you can access this through many different webs through many different transactions. I mean, yeah. Um, but today I'm going to show you through IW32, like I said, you can do like IW37N, IW28, and so forward. So, I mean, let's get it started. So, um, up here I'm going to put IW32. And then here I already have a work order. I'm going to press enter. So here's my work order. As you can see, um just like a regular work order same thing i mean i think we're gonna go to extra yeah extra and then we're gonna go to uh document for order and then right here you can click action log and then here you can see all the information that was done to this work order as you can see on um first the 14th i change uh three hours to 180 minutes and that was just because my manager wanted me to put it into minutes instead of hours. You can see that was um, there was no material components to the work order. The work order was created on this time, and then it was reset, created. Then the work order was released on the 14, and then and then again, I guess I don't know. It's showing it's showing print on the 14, so I printed it out after I released it. And then it was executed on the 30th and I closed it out so you can see to go complete it. Um, like I said, you can see way more stuff um, depending on your SAP. You can see uh, materials issued or if materials were issued back, who put in time into the work order, what they typed in. You can see before and after if there was any changes made. Um, this is really good. Um, transaction or I mean little window to look at when you're trying to get into like more in-depth research on a work order like let's say uh, something broke on a machine you need to see who and who worked on it when they worked on it when they turned their time um, all the parts are signed out um, who released it who assigned it to the person um, this is where you want to go to find all that good information but you can see I don't have that much detail on mine but um, if all your system is set up correctly then you can see all that good stuff on this window but I mean that's that's pretty much it how do you how to use the action um, log on IW32 um, thank thank you guys for watching I hope you guys this helped you guys out and gave you a better understanding don't forget to subscribe and watch my other videos there should be a link to them below in the description box don't forget don't forget to click the like button and share the videos with any of your co-workers or anybody that might be struggling with SAP if you have any questions on SAP uh, feel free to shoot me a message or leave a comment below I should have my contact info below as well I will be more than happy to answer any of your questions to my best knowledge or put something together to help you better understand but once again thank you for watching